We're going to teach you, thus says the Lord, whether you like it or not. Now, the, now the proof that she hated, good, that good, she good, hated good, us good. is because what were we doing? Reading out the Bible. Every scripture that we went to, she's like, no, 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 no. So you actually hating Christ. That's what the scripture said. We understand that. We under, we're not bugged out about it. We understand that. That's exactly, give me Zechariah. Zechariah 14 and 12. Let me just read that and then I'm out. Zechariah 14 and 12. 14 and 12. Listen up. This is going to make instant believers. <laughs> Zechariah chapter 14, verse 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people. And this shall be the sickness, the plague of death that the Lord shall smite all the people that fought against Jerusalem. That fight against the words of the Most High. All right. A lot of people are dumb and ignorant. They think they're against us. This is not about us. This is about the word of the Most High. That's right. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand up right on their feet. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. What can make your flesh disappear from your bones before your grip, before your body has a chance to hit the ground. Read it again. You read it right, brother. Come on. And this shall be the play wherewith the Lord Give me a scripture smite. before this so I can put it in context. Give me Malachi 4 and 1. Let me just go through this real quick. Let's see, we got to make some instant believers out of some people. Malachi chapter 4 verse 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. So the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. What kind of day can be down here that's going to make you feel like you're in an oven? A nuclear weapon. That's what we're going to read about. Right, now let's see. Did the Bible actually prophesy this? Let's find out. Let's see what kind of power we're dealing with. Bible's man-made. Here we go again. Man well, you stand there. We're going to find out. Man-made. You got it? Read. Man -made. And all the proud. And all the proud that speak against this Bible. Man-made. All that garbage. Man-made. Risen. Yea, and all that do wickedly shall stubble shall be stubble shall be burnt up oh. now give me isaiah chapter nine and five you think you come read oh yeah liam come on bible is man-made man, -made, man. Wait, 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 isaiah nine and five yeah. isaiah chapter nine verse five for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise god is describing the previous wars on this planet he said that all of the wars that took place was with what? With confused noise. You heard bullets ripping, bayonets getting stabbed in the lungs, people getting their heads cut off, the sound of war. That's what the Lord is talking about. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise. Come on. And garments rolled in blood. And when they got stabbed, their garments with blood all, all over. Come on. But this shall be what burning and fuel of fire. In other words, we're not gonna have those kind of wars in the future. The kind of wars that's gonna come up now is gonna be with burning and fuel of fire. Right. Burnt that's flesh. Right. These people think this is a joke. I'd be glad when the most I show you that this Bible is real. That's right. Read, read it again. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. And but, garments, garments rolled in blood, the old wars. Come on. But this shall be with burning. But this war that's coming up now shall be with what? Burning and fuel of fire. And burning and fuel of fire. Give me Isaiah 54 16. and 16. Let's see. Isaiah 54, 16. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire. The smith, the blacksmith is a man that made weapons. Weapons of war right. to fight those old wars. Right. And that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. So there's old, the old smiths made shields, bucklers, swords. That's what a blacksmith did. Come on. And I have created the waster. So who's the smith today? Scientist. Scientist makes weapons of war now. Let's see what the scientist is going to make. What are we reading? The Bible that you think is garbage. Read. And I created the waster to destroy. Is that crystal clear? And God has created the waster. That's what a nuclear weapon does. It wastes everything. That's who's, right. reading, who's writing, whose words are these? The Most High. In the book of Isaiah. You 
talking about 500 some odd years before Christ even came on the scene. They didn't have no damn weapon like that. You people come up here with your dumb statements. The Lord said every idle word that you speak against this Bible, you're going to pay for it in a day of judgment. Right. Right. Come on. Give me, give me, uh, give me another one. Malachi. Malachi. Now I want that one. Give me Malachi. Now we can get some understanding about what we read. Malachi! Four and one! For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. That's the waste they're gonna make it burn like an oven. Keep reading. And all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. All the proud? Meaning that they got their ideas above the most high. The Lord said, your proud behind gonna be burnt up. That's good. Read. And the day that cometh shall burn them up. And that day that cometh shall burn them up. to play. This is super serious. That's right. Read. Saith the Lord of hosts. Saith the Lord of hosts. Saith the Lord of hosts. Give me Isaiah chapter 46 and verse 10. Let's see what kind of power we're dealing with. Isaiah 46 and 10. Isaiah 46 verse 10. Declaring the end from the beginning. The power of this book the Most High declared the end time from the beginning. Yes, right. And from ancient times, the things that are not yet done. And he declared from the old days, the things that have not even been done yet. Where did he declare it at? In his Bible. He yes, told right. you that the nuclear weapons was gonna be made from the time of Isaiah. Those things were not done yet. Are they here now? Yes. We're gonna read about them. Read. Say, my counsel shall stand. My the Most High said, my counsel shall stand. What I say in this Bible, that's what's going to stand, not your ideas. Read. And I will do all my pleasure. And I will do everything that I have the prophets to write down. That's what he's saying. Now, give me Peter. Second Peter chapter 3. Second Peter chapter 3. <clears throat> Second Peter chapter 3 verse 10 okay. You got it? Yeah, verse 10. Yes, sir Come on. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night meaning that we're gonna be caught off guard We're gonna be running around scoffing against the Bible not realizing that the day of doom is right over your head read and the uh, which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. And which the heavens, meaning the kingdoms that we're in, shall be destroyed with a great noise. What is the great noise? Boom! That's Destruction. Good. Read. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. That's that missile again. That's what's going to cause the boom. That fervent heat. And the elements shall burn with fervent heat. The people's bodies are going to burn with fervent heat. Right. What are we reading? The Bible. The book you think is garbage. Read. The earth also and the works mm -hmm. and the works that are therein that, shall be burned up. That's telling you what the heavens are. The heavens are the kingdoms on this earth. He says the what? Read it again. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up shall be burnt up with nuclear destruction. Now, let's read about the description of the destruction so it can be crystal clear. When you talk about that lake of fire, that's what it's talking about. That's not some mythical thing. That's talking about the results of nu nuclear weapons. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this join 
IUIC channel to get your latest updates on our YouTube channels. Shalom.